Hey Joe, what do you want to be when you grow up? A film director, maybe a radio host, ice cream shop owner, or maybe that good old sports coach. Huh. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to play for the Atlanta Hawks. No, because Carmelo Anthony, he just got $28 million to not play for the Atlanta Hawks. I mean, I think that's a fantastic job. $28 million to not play basketball? Now that's a job I want. All joking aside, sports is one of the weirdest and craziest and most convoluted things humans have ever created. Free agents that are unrestricted or restricted, who can sign with whom, depending on the time of the year and how long you've had your service for and what kind of salary you can get. I mean, even in soccer, I mean, you can loan players out to other teams. One job I don't want to have is being a sports agent. There's just way too many complicated, convoluted things. Uh, cross that off. Don't want to be a sports agent. Anyways, congrats to Bryce Harper for winning the Home Run Derby. Did he cheat? Technically. Should it be considered cheating? Hitting balls before they land? No. I don't think it's fair if he's hitting 480 foot home runs and he's got to wait for those balls to land. Yes, he might get that extra time, but I mean, how much is that extra time really going to be when he's hitting them that far? So I, I think maybe just go back to what it was, maybe like 10 outs and that's it. I mean, at this point, you might as just then restructure the whole home run derby format because it's not really fair having someone who hits more home runs than somebody else who makes it through the other round because it's not really, oh, I did collectively better. It's only really an individual sort of competition. It's just your luck of matching up with someone else who does better. And you see this within like other contests and whatnot you see on reality TV. It's not really quite fair. I mean, I think you should really just sort of rearrange it. If you want to have the eight guys, just cut it off, right? Four worst guys dropped, and then keep the home run total for the next round, and then you lose the next two guys in the final round, you sort of reset the clock. Um, NASCAR sort of does that, which sort of brings me to my next point. Uh, NASCAR, uh, why I don't really consider it an actual sport. Um, Kevin Harvick got his sixth win of the year on Sunday, and uh, that's his sixth win. Kyle Busch has five wins. Martin Truex Jr. has four wins. And those 15 wins there made up 15 of the 21 races, and that's not very good for NASCAR's image. I mean... Just having three guys sort of rotating, I mean, it's sort of, it's lack of diversity. I mean, it's, it's gotten to the point where, like, I'm not even really watching the races. I mean, I had pizza delivery, but I, it, it's getting harder. I'm just sort of like, oh, which of these three is going to win? It's not really exciting. I mean, Jimmy Johnson, who won, like, six straight cups, I mean, he's, like, 300-some-odd points out behind everybody, and it doesn't even look like he might even make it to the postseason here. So, I don't know, I, I think it's sort of kind of boring. I mean, it's just as boring as Warriors versus Cavaliers the last four years in the finals. I mean, uh, it's not really good for NASCAR's image. Um, but what's good for Tiger Woods' image is that he did really well at the British Open. Uh, don't watch golf, no interest in it, don't really consider it a sport. But uh, props to Tiger Woods, and apparently from what I saw and heard and read, the British Open was pretty competitive. I mean, people were like all tied up for the lead. They were doing well. And then a bunch of guys were faltering towards the end and made it apparently really, really interesting. So I'm, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get to really watch that and see how it was, I guess, exciting, I guess, for once golf. But uh, props to Tiger Woods for uh, sort of improving. And to close out this week's episode, I just want to talk about the Boston Celtics re-signing Marcus Smart to a four-year, $52 million contract. This is good for both teams because the Celtics get their star defensive player back. He got the money he wanted. He was looking for about like $13, $14 million a year. No one doubts his hustle. And if he could just improve on his shooting a little bit, uh, he could easily be sixth man of the year for the Celtics. And with LeBron going to the Lakers, it's the Celtics' conference to lose. I'll see you next week.